Let's see how to use ChatGPT to help us with a very powerful open source video processing command called FFmpeg. The FFmpeg command is a program that can be downloaded by searching for FFmpeg download or you can install it to use as a Python library for example. But well if we click here on download we will arrive to this page. And here we would have the open source code and what we are looking for is the Windows version and from here we go to this same site and here we have the latest Win64 share. We proceed to download and it will land in the downloads tab. We double click and what we have to do is to save this folder. All we have to do now is go into program files in C. And it is here where we must install the FFmpeg command we were talking about just a second ago. Now we go backward a bit and we would drag this folder into the program files as well. We do not really need to do this last step but with this we would already have the FFmpeg and we could already use it. But before getting started there is one small thing to do left. In order to use it in the places in which I've got the files we have to put it in the path. Let's edit the variables then we go to system variables and right here we double click on path and here we would have to add the path where we have installed the FFmpeg. Let's proceed. I copy it so I can paste it later. And after granting it the administrator access that is required, we will have to wait for all the files to get transferred to the new folder in which we are pasting them into It does take a while. And I cannot stress this enough. Right now we are only installing FFmpeg. We haven't gotten started with ChatGPT just yet. Well, so now we have FFmpeg installed here and after clicking in FFmpeg bin, we will copy said path. Ideally, we want to have access to program files in order to get the complete path that we are looking for. Let's notice that here I already had the FFmpeg. I copy the complete path using crow plus C and I paste it in the variable. Once I am done with this whole process, I should already be able to use FFmpeg anywhere. So let's get started with our favorite assistant, ChatGPT. Hi there ChatGPT. How could I convert a web or MKV file, which is often more common, into an MP4 file that happens to be way more standard? Well, so I have to use the command ffmpeg that converts a video from web to MP4 in the most optimal way possible, and it gives me the command we can see on the screen. So here we can see that we would simply have to substitute the input and output names with the desired one, and we would already have the command we were looking for. Let's imagine I want to do something else now, for example. If I want to extract the audio or mp3 file from an mp4 video, well, I could also do that very easily. 
The prompt in this case would be the following. After processing all the required information, ChatGPT will give us the prompt we need. We can see it on the screen right now and it is ready for us to use. I hope you are all following me so far because I want us to imagine a third scenario in which I want for our assistant to export the frames of an MP4 video as different JPEG files. Let's see if we can find the command. As you can see here, this is everything the assistant has searched in order to find the solution. What I really want you to understand is my question about the FFmpeg command to create individual .jpg files for frames extracted from an mp4 file, one for each second. The command that is below here, I'll explain up to this point. Oh, here we have it. As we can see, the command is very versatile and allows us to change it so it exports images at every desired amount of time. For example, every half second or every two seconds. I would only have to substitute the name in the output folder and I could already run the script. Once we run it, it will create a folder with images in the desired folder. Here we can further read more valuable information about the command. Well, and with this, I want to wrap up this video in which I have first taught you where to find and install the FFmpeg. We have also learned to copy the path and put it in the correct Windows folder, so we are able to use it in any directory. And then we have seen three different, yet very useful commands of FFmpeg. By using these, we can immediately convert web to mp4 files, extract mp3 from mp4 videos, and lastly, get images per second and save them in JPG format from mp4 files. Thank you very much for your attention so far. See you all in the next video.